Dear colleagues, I'd like to share with you a very delightful way that I've experienced to improve classroom engagement, and that is with books. Certainly, I use books as a warm-up to the day's activities. As students filter in, uh, reading aloud together is one way to very quickly invite students uh, who are coming in to filter into the day's activities. Books are also a very tactile way of learning. Uh, they're tactile, they're visual, and they're audio, so it really touches upon those different ways that students engage with material. This week, we're talking about human resources, teamwork, and leadership. And so I introduced them to the Beckham Principle from the Black Box Thinking um, by Matthew Syed. And he looks at the ways that we institute failure as a way of reaching innovation in the ways that we work in teams. And of course, the Beckham Principle, he links that to um, the organization Dyson, the famous vacuum cleaner that sort of had to reinvent this product. So Students get to see both the um, in the so-called social world, this principle, and in the business world. You ask them, many students have not touched a book in a very long time. So it's also important that students get to see us as educators reading, and they get to see what lifelong learning looks like. Equally, and this is based on Bell Hooks' principles of engaged uh, pedagogy, which you can see in her book, Teaching Critical Thinking, Reading aloud allows students to hear each other's voices and hear their own voices. This becomes crucial when we think about one of our roles in teaching to help prepare students for their employability prospects. In this respect, we're asking them to hear their professional voices. So initially we go around and paragraph by paragraph, I ask students to uh, read a paragraph and go to the next student, kind of like hot potato. But for the second round, and by then many, most of the students have um, come and settled into the classroom, I ask them to code switch. I ask them to imagine their professional selves, their professional voices, how they would sound, how they would want themselves to be heard, how they would physically stand. I also ask them to stand up when they read their paragraph, um, to imagine themselves in the workspace. And these are their teammates and they're presenting an idea. And so this asks them, of course, to be more mindful and aware of uh, themselves as presenting information, more mindful and aware of themselves as an audience who's giving um, feedback and cues as an audience member. And particularly for students of color, I think that there's often the idea that code switching and learning to be a professional self means becoming a white self. And unless we as the educators address this and adopt this more openly, um, in our discourse within the classroom, we sort of leave students with the ambivalence to figure out what it is the so-called professional voice is. And so this brings a sort of awareness. And so the second time that we go around and reading the paragraph, I also ask them to uh, pass it to someone who's not sitting next to them. So they sort of have to stay alert and be present and be in the moment, which is, which is of course, what we're preparing them to do discuss the passage. So um, Bell Hooks also reminds us that linking actual discussion about what we call like social issues or cultural topics that people are in, are attached to but not in tune with, it's very useful to link it on actual passage. Like what did someone do? How did they fail and become excellent at something? So then as a follow-up, you would, might ask students uh, prompts like, have you ever failed at something? Have you ever failed and um, gotten better at something? And these sorts of things and how they would apply that to working in teams and how they would sort of lead people through uh, decision-making processes, um, through crises, of course, but how they would do so with the knowledge that failure may be a part of the process. Again, you may want to prompt students by asking them to put away the black mirror, to put away their mobile phones and sort of be present in the moment. This is, again, one of the ways that we ask students to disconnect from social media and connect to the learning community. Enjoy.